Agrigold, we know corn. Hi, I'm John Breen, agronomist with Agrigold. Today we're going to talk about replant. Unfortunately, most of the state of Ohio has received anywhere between two and seven inches of rain in a very short amount of time, and the field behind me is pretty typical of a lot of places across the state. Many growers are going to have the question, is the corn going to make it? Do I need to replant? What do I need to do? So today I want to just kind of run through a few things that I look at when it comes to replant, some things that you can do to assess your stands to make the best decision at this time. So the first thing that we have to do if we're deciding whether or not the stand is good enough to keep or if we need to replant is to find out what we have out in the field. So we're going to have to go out in the field and we're going to take some stand counts. Now these stand counts are pretty simple to do. You just take one one thousandth of an acre. So if you're on 30 inch rows, that's 17 feet, 5 inches of a row and count how many plants are there. So once you get a determination across the field, an average number of plants, we can then begin to make some decisions on whether or not that stands there good enough to keep. What you will need to do then is kind of take an assessment. Right now my break even point is 20,000 plants per acre. If you can have more than 20,000 plants per acre out there consistently, that's a good enough stand to keep with planting dates and maturities and those type things all factored together. So anything above 20,000 consistently, we probably should think about keeping that stand and, and just going on with what we have. The second thing that we need to do once we have a stand count is determine how uniform the stand is. If we have big pockets of nothing or big spaces that don't have any plants and we have areas that have plants, that's going to really make the decision even more difficult. So what we have to do is determine are there holes big enough that we can go in and replant with the planter size that we have. With 12, 16, 24 old planters, those spots have to be pretty big in order to justify going in and replanting those. So if they're not big enough to replant and they're not enough to worry about, I would just keep the stand. But if it's a sporadic stand with big holes that you can't really patch into, then we may want to think about tearing up that stand and starting over. Once we determine the population, once we determine how many holes we have, the, the third thing we have to determine is the viability of the seed and the plants that are out there. The plants that are there, are they going to make it? The ones that aren't up yet, are they going to make it? So what we need to do then is go dig up some seed, dig up some plants, and we want to take a look at them. We want to first find out, is the seed still hard or is it mushy? If the seed is hard, that seed is still viable and that plant has a fighting chance. If that seed is mushy, more than likely that's rotten and not going to grow. The second thing we want to look at is the mesocotyl and the roots. Are they brown or are they white? If we have a lot of brown spots and brown roots, that tells us the seedling blights are moving in pretty fast and there's a good chance it's going to kill that plant versus a plant that has a white mesocotyl and white roots. Those are healthy. Those are going to give us a fighting chance. So if we find a lot of plants that don't look like they're going to make it, we have a lot of holes out there we can't patch into, and our stands are not ideal, then that's the recipe for replant. If you don't have any of those issues, keep the stand you have, let the calendar work in your favor, and keep the stand and, and go on and planting the rest of your crop. So you've made the decision to replant, what's next? Really there are a lot of options there ahead of you. You have herbicide options, you have planter options, but in the reality of it, the easiest and most effective way to do it is to tear your corn crop up and start over. That way you don't have to worry about having too many plants in the row, you don't have to worry about all the other issues of not killing the crop or not getting it out. Just go in, tear it up, start over, that way it will give you the best stand and best chance for high yields down the road. Replant decisions are not easy. There's a lot of emotion, a lot of frustration, a lot of questions. So if you're out looking at your cornfield and you just can't decide what you need to do as far as replanting or not, please don't hesitate to call your local corn specialist from Agrigold. Have them come out, talk to you on the phone, help you make that decision of what's best for your farm.